from the beautiful Treasure Coast of Florida. You're watching Am Radio Concepts. You might have seen my automatic antenna tuners from MFJ. This one I've had for a few years. It's the MFJ 969 Deluxe Versa Tuner 2. This is a roller inductor tuner with a lighted cross needle, a dummy load built in, and a coax switch built in as well. Can be used with uh, coax uh, outputs or a balance line or wire. Uh, I'm going to take it apart. We're going to check out the inside and uh, we'll put it on there and show you quickly how to uh, go ahead and tune this. All right, so the inside of it with the cab off uh, doesn't look very confusing. You have, uh, well, I have Ralph here, K2KIT. Uh, he's built many of these before uh, back in the day. And Ralph's going to uh, give you an idea. Tell me what's in here, Ralph. Well, as you can see, this 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 knob here is the uh, is what you would, would adjust to get minimum SWR uh, showing on your uh, transmitter. Okay, and this of course is tunes the antenna, which is uh, the uh, the output tuning control. Now they work in conjunction, of course, with the roller tuner. Uh, later on, what we're going to show is when we go inside and uh, demonstrate it. What we're going to show. <clears throat> is how you adjust these knobs to get minimum SWR on your meter. Okay, that's the secret of how you tune a tuner. You're tuning for minimum SWR. And, and ideally the tuner is actually not making you a perfect antenna, it's matching the antenna to the radio so your radio is happy, correct? Correct. Okay, so uh, for people wanting to use a multi-band wire on several different bands, this is not going to make you a one-to-one -one perfect resonant antenna. What it's going to do is allow you to tune up on several different frequencies and make your radio happy so that you're not having uh, burned out finals or, or excessive uh, SWR, which is just going to cause you problems. Um, but uh, the dummy load is inside, the black bar there, and that's so you can tune off air without disrupting anybody there. Um, tune right into a perfect 50 ohm match. And um, the battery inside is for your peak reading meter. It actually holds the meter on the front on peak envelope when you have the peak envelope set, uh, average or peak, it'll hold the peak um, at a slower rate so you can see what your peak output is. Um, let me see the back, Ralph. We'll turn it around. When you hook this up to a uh, balanced wire on the back, right there. Okay, this, this is where you would hook your ladder line or any open feed line uh, to the antenna. And of course, this is tuning just, just a random wire. It's just one wire in. And that's with the uh, toroid bell on there in the back or inside. And uh, always make sure you ground these things. Grounds yeah. are very important. Very important. Very important. And of course, you've got uh, the option of, uh, of two different antennas if you're running coax. Coax 1, coax 2. Right. And of course, this is where you would plug your uh, transmitter in to start off with. And this is the outputs, of course. Right, and this power down here, this does not require power to use. That power is only for the lighted cross needle on the front. So you can use this out in the field without any power, and it will work just fine without the lighted meter. Uh, so this is field uh, usable on a field day or such. It's very lightweight. Very lightweight as well. It's, this is something you'd rather take uh, instead of the big auto tuner. You can take something like this uh, because you're probably not using an amp on field day. Maybe you're using only 100 watts and this will handle up to 300. So let's go ahead and put it inside and uh, we'll play around showing you uh, how easy it is to tune it. Not very hard at all. Alright, so we have it set up here in the shack with uh, Ralph's FT1000. And uh, we're on a 40 meter inverted V that Ralph cut to frequency on 40. And we're going to tune this right now on 17 meters. Right now I'm on 18.159. Um, the manual does come with, uh, there's a page in here that shows you a ballpark of where to start, uh, which is pretty cool because you'd have really no idea where to go. Um, so it says for 17 meters, uh, 7 on the transmitter, 7 on the antenna, 118 on the inductor. So that's about where we're at right now, okay, plus or minus, depending on your uh, configuration. So uh, we're going to key 10 watts real quick. Go ahead. That's showing 10 watts. 10, well, a little more than 10 watts. Yeah. All right. Now go to reflected power. Let's see the reflected power. On which? Powers. On this? Yeah. 
nothing. Okay, so the idea is to uh, tune the uh, antenna or match the antenna to the radio so that you have no reflected power coming back down the antenna into your radio. So um, right now by keying this up, go ahead. The cross needle is showing me that it's not even moving. The reflected power is not even moving. All right, barely. Um, now. I'm going to go ahead over to 40 meters, which would be four and a half. Wait, at 10? We're still at 10 watts. That's fine. All right. Four and a half, four and a half. Bring this down to 107. Okay, we're at 40 meters? Yep. <sighs> okay, uh, 10 watts. Let's go ahead and. Wait, I got to go up. That's too low. All right. All right. There's never nothing on 40 anymore. I'm going to go ahead and key up, and you'll start with your transmitter knob to achieve the lowest dip in SWR, then you'll move to the antenna knob and get even a lower SWR, and then you'll use the roller inductor to get absolute zero. Okay? And it's showing zero. See a reflected power? Nothing. Putting out 10 watts, what's your radio say for SWR? Zero. Okay? So, so that you got zero, zero, zero. Right. So without the tuner on. Without the auto tuner on the radio on. Okay. So we've matched the antenna now uh, to the radio with a perfect match. And again, you're not making your antenna resonant, but you're making the whole system happy. And your radio is putting out full power, and your radio is happy. And that's what's most important. Um, let's try. How about twenty? All right. Let's go twenty meters. And twenty meters on the chart will kind of give me an idea of. Six and a half, six and a half, and one sixteen. Right. So six and a half, six and a half. Now don't forget, this is all in with the inverted V. Right. All right. Give me a uh, carrier. Oh, I didn't see that. All right. Start with the transmitter knob to find that dip. Antenna knob. Null. Null, as you call it. And inductor. Now you might have to go back and tweak one of these again, because they all work with each other. See that? Without the tuner on. Right. Right there. 10 watts. Zero reflected. 10 watts forward. A little bit higher than 10 watts in that meter. Zero reflected and zero reflected. All right. And again, there's no tuner. Right. So right there, it's that easy. I mean, it's not complicated, uh, and it's doing the job. So that's a quick video on using roller inductor tuners, and um, I hope uh, that made some sense for you. 7-3 from K2KI, I'm excuse, I'll, I, I'll ID for me, KJ4YZI and K2KIT. See you on the bands.